So about a week ago, I bought these two Matchbox 5 packs at the Zeeman uh, for a very good price. You can see the name of the store, the website, and the price, seven euro, 99, eight euro. That is a very good price for a Matchbox 5 pack, if you are talking about European prices. Um, you can look the video um, where I find the Matchbox 5 packs in the Z-Man, and there you can also see the other 5 packs. I bought these two, and I'm starting with the Matchbox Japan Cruisers unboxing and review. Okay, I think I need a knife. Got that right here. And I always do it like this. So place them back after you finished making photos or you place them in your display stand okay let's start with uh, this one right here make sure I got some extra light there we go nostalgic car and it got a side mirrors I like that and I'm a big fan of black rims and they go very good with the blue color. No painted front lights, no license plate. That's a little bit disappointing. And also no paint here in the back. Um, then we have a plastic base and we see Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. Pretty good casting, but no painted front or rear lights. That's a little bit disappointing. Okay, we're going to place you right here, and then we go to the next one in pink with the uh, Matchbox rims, shining paint, metallic. And here we have painted uh, front lights. Let's switch to detail mode. And we also have painted rear lights and type R on the license plate. This is much better. And if you can do it with this car, why not with this one? Hello, it's a Nissan Skyline. We want some extra details on a Nissan Skyline. Then we want to know. Yeah, it's a Japan car, so it's a right hand steering. The steering wheel is pretty ugly. Uh, let's see. Yep, not a good steering wheel. The rest of the interior is uh, fine. Nothing wrong with that. And um, forgot to check the steering wheel here. Pretty much the same. Ugly steering wheel. Some details on the dashboard, but not much. Nowadays, they can do so much better. Uh, pff, well, back. In the good old days, the interior was also a lot better. Now we got this one right here, Subaru Impreza. Also with the Matchbox rims, uh, police livery. And we got painted front lights. And something that looks like a license plate. I like that. We even got a sunroof. Uh, left hand steering. But no painted rear lights. That's pretty disappointing, especially for a Subaru. I love that car. And let's have a look. No side windows. And an ugly steering wheel. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible. They have to do something about that. You can see with other brands that they have a perfect interior, but Mattel, they don't give. Uh, beep about interior uh, painted front lights painted rear lights that is really good license plate would be awesome but nah. yeah and again you 
and the last one um, Toyota 4Runner made in Thailand left hand steering uh, do we have stuff in the back no but we do got this ugly thing here in the middle and we have painted no we have no painted front lights and no painted rear lights unfortunately okay then we're going to the next five pack and the reason I bought this one is because of the Volkswagen right here I saw a real one last week um, I think it was a green or red color it was a while uh, since I saw a real one and this one here is also pretty cool and let's have a look at the rest of this five pack yeah here we got uh, all the names of the cars Aston minivan Volkswagen Golf Country field car Honda Civic a Volkswagen Beetle 4x4 and you can also see the price and that it comes from the Menomer. Okay, let's open it up. We place these here. By the way, if you like this parking lot that I got here, it's from AliExpress. Did a review about it. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, there are a lot of other parking lots very very big and perfect for your diecast cars okay let's open this up so we make an incision here on the top you put your fingers behind it and then you can open the five pack okay let's start with this pink one right here now I'm not a big fan of the pink color, good googly goons, but I do like uh, pink in combination with uh, an ice cream. No painted front lights, matchbox rims. Um, do we got some stuff in the back? Yeah, there is some stuff in the back. I'm not sure what it is. A spare tire? Let's, let's see if you can see it from this side. So we got a spare tire there, I think. Something that looks like a spare tire, but there is some stuff in the back. Can't see what it is. Uh, maybe some buckets? I don't know. Hmm. But there is stuff in the back. Interesting. Then we got some text on the side. Step right up to experience. Ask about our diecast special. I like that. That is so cool. Ask about our diecast special. That's why I like these uh, food cars because they always have some funny text on the side. Very creative. Um, okay, let's put this one right here and then we're going to my favorite one of this five pack Not only it's a Volkswagen, but it also has rough rabbits the rough rabbit 3 on the side with a rabbit Yeah, this is definitely a very cool car. Although it has no paint here on the front uh, It got a cool plastic bumper and it got a cool plastic spare tire in the back. They can do so much better. They should make a premium model of it. And these rear lights should be painted. This model deserves that. And we got a windscreen wiper here in the back. Oh my god. Um, do I want to see this? No. Oh no. Yeah. But uh, the casting itself and also the wheels very cool i love it then we're going to the matchbox field car pretty cool we got some painted front lights no painted rear lights uh, spare tire looks pretty nice and it got a 
tow bar. This is also a good one and it got painted front lights and painted rear lights and a license plate. To be honest, the blue man Hello, this Honda Civic is very cool from the outside. Definitely a winner. And yes, that's because of all those details. With a license plate, it is so much better. With more the more details the better. And you see, they can do it. Huh? If they can do it with this one. They can do it with this one, they can do it with this one, they can do it with this one, they can do it with all the Matchbox cars. Yeah, awesome. Over the top Beetle off-road with the big balloon tires. Super cool, big exhaust. Yeah, 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 yeah. What can I say about it? Hey, there is something in the back. Let's see what we got in the back. We got... I have to switch to detail mode. And then you can see it. There is a... Um, emergency kit, I think. And something like a fire extinguisher. Or, yeah, it has to be something like that. Always cool that they have some interesting stuff. At the back yeah pretty cool okay that is it um, I have to hurry a little bit because uh, I have to go to my work so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button and have a very nice day see you soon bye